Hello guys, good day. My name is Sarafa and um, welcome to today's tutorial guide on uh, SafePal. So we will be discussing three topics today, uh, which have been listed on the screen. The first one is um, what is a smart contract? The second topic to, the, uh, to be discussed is the risk attributed to the smart contract. And the third topic is how token allowance works and also how to use the approval manager on the SafePal app to um, revoke smart contracts. So um, we start with the number one topic, which is what is smart contract? Um, a smart contract is a transparent digital agreement that automatically executes itself and enforce its terms without the use of intermediaries um, or middlemen, uh, without the use of going through a third party or what have you. So we quickly rush to the um, risk attributed to smart contract. Actually, I just listed a very few. There are a lot out there, but I just listed a very few right here. So there are several risks attributed or attached to the smart contract. But I'll just briefly discuss some. The, the first one, um, when a contract is being deployed, it can be changed, not altered. Because this has been um, this has been broadcasted, it has been sent and finalized in the blockchain. If a smart contract has been has been created and has been deployed, it can be altered since it has been broadcasted into the blockchain. So therefore, if there is uh, probably a bug or a loophole that is being detected by um, um, attackers or scammers, they can use that medium to explore, uh, exploit whomsoever as interacted or who, has, who is trying to interact with that certain contract. And this can lead to several financial losses. The other one is um, during migration of um, contracts by a project from probably one smart contract to another. This might lead to loss of token if migration isn't done automatically. That's if a migration is being done from um, from one smart contract to the other, thereby deprecating the former smart contract. And if migration isn't automatical, um, by when migrating, token holder snapshots have been to uh, taken and they have been um, reimbursed the new token under the new smart contract. So this might lead to loss because some um, projects will tell you you should manually go through, through a site and you will have to redeem it. And there is a time, um, um, there is a time span for you to do this. So um, some project might decide to upgrade their contracts from um, version one to version two, or whatever the project decide to call it. They might say from A one to A two, or from this to that, whatever they wish to call it. Thereby moving its supply and business from the old contract to the new one. Users need to be aware about this because when liquidity and business is being moved from the first contract to the other, this would leave the old contract being invalidated, the, the old contract being deprecated, and that contract not having liquidity. So holders who didn't migrate would have lost the financial value of the token being held. So um, thirdly, we go to the token allowance which will prompt us to make use of the SafePal app. So before we open our SafePal app, we'll just quickly brush on how token allowances work. So when trying to make a swap, um, a token approval or signature, it is firstly being requested um, to note that um, a signature is gasless, while um, a token um, approval isn't. So when you approve, you're authorizing the smart contract to spend your token. And also, token allowances can be edited, telling the contract the amount of token which you want um, the contract to spend. Um, so, for example, I have um, I have 0 0.08, or let's say I have 144 SFP, and I want um, the contract to spend 40. So I'd have to set 
um, the limit to 40 so it doesn't spend more than 40 for that initial trade I want to carry on so I'm not setting an unlimited allowance for the trade to make use of so um, after I swap the 40 to whatever period which I want then um, right after approving then I initiate my actual swap where the token gets swapped to whatever period which I've selected so let's quickly um, make use of um, check how the approval work and also um, look at the um, approval manager on the safe power app which is located which is located here so um, quickly let's note this please there is always a risk interacting with smart contracts no dex is i can assure you is 100 percent safe and i am I, I am not responsible for any loss um, that occurs due to you interacting on a smart contract probably there is a breach by a third party so i'm i'm basically using this um third party app to guide you through on um how to um, approve token and also how to revoke allowances thank you so we make use of um pancake swap uh as an example for this all right so this is a security one which also said what i just said earlier you're about to redirect it to a third party d app when making a transfer please make sure you are aware of the financial risk and um, operate with caution safe power is not responsible for any losses caused by using this d app thank you so we confirm um we come to trade which is on the bottom left trade so i'm trying to swap my bmb into usdt i'll click on 50 percent um before that let me quickly minimize so i'll show you something we come to my approval manager bsc change it to bsc so just look at the top left hand under the ethereum which said 21 approval records so i already have 21 approval records so making use of this pancake swap i want to show you if this um contract has been if the allowance has also been added to my um record approval record so we'll go back to my pancake swap if i want to change just 50 percent of what i have uh in my portfolio i'll swap so i'll select this uh, just select that so the transaction has been submitted so now the transaction is uh, has been completed and successful so now here i have i have 8.99 usdt so let's go to the um to uh, approval manager to check if this has come true i changed to bsa so it's still in 21 it's still in 21 so now i'll i would have to swap my usdt back to bnb so i'll click on max click on swap confirm so firstly i'm about to approve the usdt so what i said earlier about setting um a certain limit of token you want the contract to spend so since i've um put let me see how many i have i'm um, sorry can cancel so i can check how many i have i've got um 8.99 so that's um about nine dollars i click on next i click on this if i click 10 so the contract is not going to spend more than 10. I click on confirm. So it's going through. That has been the first approval. So now I'm initiating the cha um, the, the transaction. I'm initiating the swap now on this second pop-up. Uh, click on confirm. Now the swap has gone through. So it has been broadcasted in the blockchain. The swap has been successful so now i go to my token approval to see if that has added to my approval record i come to um approve manager approval manager i click on bsc 
so you can see it has changed to 22 approval records so now i will have to go and search for the usdt allowance i have um, initiated not long ago uh, this is it this is it the usdt pancake swap v3 so that's it so if i'd want to um cancel my allowance so this contract is not going to is not going to spend um this usdt at which i have initiated all i have to do is um go to the allowance click on it it's going to take 0.02 dollars to revoke the contract at which i have signed in i'll click on confirm so that has been revoked if i want to revoke any other at which i have um allowed earlier before now i'll just click on this so that is revoking the authorization to spend my token i have given to that certain contract so i'm revoking the allowances revoke this ticket so you can look at it it's going through and it's um this is actually a safe way for you to keep <coughs> to keep your wallet safe from probably possibly um a breach of the contract that might lead to exploiting one's wallet so this is actually one of those good um those good sections that's in your safe power that on our safe power app for us to make use of and keep our wallet um healthy and safe from possible exploits even if that's not from the wallet maybe from the contract so this is going to help us to keep our wallet safe hopefully you guys try this out and um see what it used to please please let's give this a try out to keep our wallet healthy and um, free from any exploitation thank you do take care of yourself bye guys